Justices, Chairman, University Council, Dr. Vincent Gaitho, members of the University Council, Vice Chancellor, Professor Dio Gracias Giagagne, members of the University Management Board and Senate, distinguished guests, Mount Kenya University staff, parents and guardians, graduands and students. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm delighted to preside over this, the 24th graduation of Mount Kenya University, as I also bring my warm greetings from my home country in Scotland and my home university, the University of the West of Scotland, and also from my family to the Mount Kenya University fraternity, graduands, parents and guardians, as well as to all Kenyans in general. Allow me, ladies and gentlemen, to request uh, uh, two special guests that I uh, brought with me. My, my dear wife, who is Ghanaian by birth, uh, here, and uh, my colleague, Dr. Richard Thacker, colleague at University of the West of Scotland. I'd ask them to rise up and wave to the crowd. Thank you. At this point, just before I make my address, I'm going to invite my colleague, Dr. Richard Thacker, just to say a few words. He has come all the way from Scotland uh, to do so. So, Dr. Thacker, please. Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, esteemed guests, graduands. This is a great pleasure for me to be here to celebrate with you. I'm over here from the University of the West of Scotland. I'm now going to stand aside from the plinth so you can see my Scottish outfit. So the reason that I'm here um, in Kenya at the moment is because we have a research project with Mount Kenya University and with a, with a Kenyan company. Now I work as, a, as an entomologist, I'm a biologist, and what we're trying to do is develop new environmentally friendly products for the management of pest species in agriculture so that farmers no longer would need to use insecticides. We visited the company yesterday, we're just at the point of production and of field testing and we have high hopes for this project and so it's been a pleasure for me to to be here and to visit and to work on this particular item of research but of course it also gives me the opportunity to be here with you today and today is a great day for you for all of you for the graduates i really truly hope you celebrate as much as you possibly can getting to this point will have involved sacrifices, probably by yourselves, probably by members of your family, by your friends. It takes effort to reach this point. If you look at the data all over the world, it's still the case that the majority of high school students do not go to university and do not graduate. This is a great achievement for you to reach this particular point in time. So well done to all of you. So as you move forward in your careers, the advice I would give to you is be a positive advert, be an advocate of Mount Kenya University. Be a great advert for Kenya itself. And finally, be the best person you possibly can be. Asante san. As my colleague, uh, Dr. Thacker said, graduation day is a wonderful day in your life. It is celebrated everywhere around the world. And it is a day you will remember for many years, in fact, for the rest of your lives. It is a day equivalent to the day of your birth, the day of your marriage, for example, if, you're, if you happen to be married, that is. And therefore, I wish to offer my own word of congratulations, a hearty congratulations to all the graduates and their parents and guardians, as well as to the Mount Kenya University fraternity. 
Your joint commitment as stakeholders has led to this success, whose fruits we are witnessing here today as we celebrate this 24th graduation ceremony. Dear graduands, you have received a very strong education at MKU, which is going to equip you well to serve the global community, wherever your services are required. You may not know where you end up in two or three years' time, or five years' time, or 20 years' time, but you'll be on this path, you see, that, and that journey has started today. So be diligent in your approach to work and to business and to the community. And always remember to stay in touch with MKU, your alma mater. And therefore, we wish to offer you the best of success in your future endeavors. Ladies and gentlemen, let me make just a few remarks about continuing partnerships between MKU and other universities around the world. And I'm going to begin with a recent partnership that was developed uh, uh, this year, just a few months ago, when our Vice-Chancellor here in MKU, Professor uh, Jaganyu, visited our home university in Scotland, the University of the West of Scotland. Actually, it was in October of this year. And uh, he and uh, another colleague, Professor Wanderi, held high-profile uh, meetings with uh, the senior management of our university in Scotland, including the Vice-Chancellor, Professor James Miller. And during that visit, a new memorandum of understanding was signed by both vice chancellors, which will facilitate joint research and other areas of partnership, which you've just heard of one from Dr. Thacker, uh, between our two universities. That's something also to celebrate, isn't it, today? This partnership between universities. Thank May we <laughs> applaud that. Life is all about partnerships at the end of the day. And as the Chancellor of MQU, I will endeavour to assist in the process of strengthening these partnerships as best I can. And uh, we have very good news uh, already in this partnership. As some of you may know, uh, in the university here, I am the director of a centre for African research on enterprise and economic development. I'm an economist, uh, a professor of economics. We call it CAREED. C-A-R-E-E-D, Center for African Research on Enterprise and Economic Development. And indeed, we've published uh, with colleagues here in Mount Kenya University over the last few years. And for the last seven or eight years in Scotland, we've held our annual conference in Scotland because it's based in Scotland. And uh, several guests came this year uh, to Scotland for our, eighth, uh, for our seventh conference. However, I'm delighted to announce that we have agreed in principle uh, to host the eighth international conference of Kurid here in Kenya with Mount Kenya University in Tika here. That's another thing to celebrate. And this is a significant milestone uh, for Kurid, particularly because Kurid is a research center with about 20 academic staff from a range of African countries. Uh, in fact, Africans are the majority of our faculty in, in Kurid. Uh, one of those is Kenyan, in fact, but we have colleagues from Tanzania, from Ethiopia, from Zimbabwe, from Ghana, where my wife comes from, from Nigeria, from Ivory Coast, etc., etc. And so uh, I'm particularly proud uh, that we're going to have a, hold our joint conference here in Kenya. So you'll, if you happen to be at that conference, you will see me again there with some of my colleagues. We're hoping to bring a number of colleagues from Scotland here in the month of June uh, uh, this, uh, next year. There are other partnerships that the university has engaged in over the last uh, period. Uh, for example, under the Erasmus Plus uh, partnership with the University of St. Cyril and Methodios in Slovakia, in Europe, and uh, there was a partnership agreed there and a, an upcoming visit in January 2024 uh, by three MKU members of staff to Slovakia uh, in, in Europe. And also with uh, the MKU Quinta partnership, which is being implemented at the MKU's botanical gardens, 
where uh, under the support of the presidential, the Kenyan president's uh, initiative of growing 15 billion trees between 2022 and 2032, 10 years to plant 15 billion trees uh, to assist with the fight against global warming. And yet another partnership exists with a Ugandan-based organization called Mercy Beyond Borders, a very important initiative at this particular juncture with conflict in the world, around the world that we're seeing on a daily basis in our newspapers. And this is a Ugandan-based organization that is showing mercy to migrants who have to travel from one country to another to escape war. And this, this really is a scourge that's occurring in the world at the moment that saddens us. And there are many other initiatives that uh, MQU is developing, particularly with UK universities as well, uh, in promoting the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, in medical research, in conservation, and capacity development. Too many to cover in a short speech like this. In my final part of the address, I, I want to commend the management, and particularly the Vice-Chancellor of, of our university, Professor Gigagne, who is leading in a superb way at this, in this university, along with the senior management team. And under their guidance, the university continues to be a leading higher education institution in Kenya and in the East African region as a whole. This is leading to outstanding growth in scholarly endeavors through community engagements as well as through cutting edge partnerships with industry and with institutions of higher education around the globe. So in conclusion, as scholars, we strive to serve the community. That is our job, to serve the community. And we try to do so to the best of our capacities through our core mandates of teaching, research, and community engagement. No longer can universities be detached from their communities. They are part of their communities. They're part of the ecosystem, the economic ecosystem of, of embedded in communities. So we thank all our partners who have joined hands with us to execute these three mandates. And we also invite other partners to join us for further uh, networks and linkages as we strive to contribute towards the achievement of national and regional goals, as well as the UN Sustainable Development Goals. So I wish to conclude now, and I conclude by thanking you for, for, for attending, of course, here today and, and your family, and may God bless Kenya, may God bless Africa, and may God bless all mankind. I wish you a, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Asenteni sana. Wonderful, wonderful speeches from our, our speakers. Let's appreciate them with a hearty clap for the nice presentation and also words of wisdom that indeed we are all blessed. Ladies and gentlemen, we are coming to the main uh, apex. And before we do that, Mr. Chancellor Sam, the social media is flowing with communications and also quite a number of engagements. I have one graduate all the way from India, Kaur Jagjit from India, and the parents are following live through TV47, and we really appreciate. Mount Kenya University provides an opportunity for each and every person to engage and also study with us. Among us, our graduates today, Mr. Charles Kamau Rondo, who is the chairperson at the Waterworks Development Agency, and I think he's the youngest chairperson of a parastato in Kenya. Let's appreciate with him at the club. We also have all the way the member of parliament or uh, member of parliament from Kajia Do West, Honorable Joshua George Risa Sunkuya, who is also going to graduate this beautiful day. Wonderful, wonderful. We also have on board Madame Bus. Esa Akod, a.k.a. Akod Mwenyewe. 
And finally, I want to just step forward. He sauti labda mukisikia mtaifahamu kwa kidani. Tuambie unafanya kazi unaitwa nani na unahitimu na nini na vile mambo kutekeleza. Naam ningependa kuchukua fursa hii kwa mkoa nyote ambao wamefika katika hafla hii ya leo. Uh, wale ambao ni mahafala wenzangu mimi naitwa Mfawidhi Mike Gitone siku ya leo na fuzu katika shahada ya mawasiliano hususan masuala ya mawasiliano ya umma public relations Pasina pasina kuambia hiyo sauti simmeelewa e, nafanya kazi katika ofisi ya rais mimi ndio the master of ceremony to the president's functions na leo siku ya hii labda ukinipa ruhusa nitasema mambo hii peke yake Mount Kenya University has given me an opportunity to transform a talent into a career. I've been using my voice as a talent, and today I'm here witnessing my colleagues and I graduating. It will give me an opportunity now to present a paper to my bosses, and also very eager for my promotions. Mount Kenya University, Hongera. Secondly, I would wish to thank the management for the way you've crafted uh, the institutional courses. They are well crafted in a way that all of us can be on board on it. Given an opportunity without even asking permission, we'll be ambassadors of MKU wherever we go, because it has given us opportunity to master what we have been given from uh, our lecturers. Just to mention but a few. We had so many lecturers who pass, whom I passed through. Na katika mikone hawa wakufunzi, I would just need to single out somebody called Kochomai. I wish to single out someone called Anne Carubio. Just to mention but a few, these are people you've given a, a mantle to transform us, and they did their best. Customer care. When I joined Mount Kenya University, I didn't think that this is workable, because the nature of my work I do, I thought I was too busy. But I met one receptionist, one front office uh, lady called Agneta. I doubt whether she's here or she's watching. But I wish the university knows the work that lady is doing. She needs to be promoted to higher levels so that the management of the university can also have something to put for her. Thank you so much and I appreciate it. Asante sana. No kienda kwa boss wako. Boss wako ni nani? I've realized you also have a very good choir. <laughs> so not for this Jamuhuri, maybe for Madaraka, we might think of it. I've also realized you are a very good MC. <laughs> so maybe tuongee vizuri alafu huenda wakati kazi zimekuwa nyingi labda nitakuwa nakualika asante when you go back to your boss tell him that mount kenya university loves him so much wapigie makofi mazuri kabisa na tashukuru zaidi popote pale kumbuka kuwa unaweza jiunga na sisi mount kenya university for any course that is customized and you can do it from anywhere in this world ladies and gentlemen tunaingia kipindi cha mwisho kabisa na kabla hatujaingia pale na wakaribisha wana dancers wakituletea moja moto kabisa luo celebration dance Dodo, over to you mku dancers